respected Dr. Sugato Dutt sir, Principal Chief Conservator and Forest Secretary, Salvan Club, uh, Sri K. Chidambaram sir, Principal Chief Conservator and Forest and President Salvan Club, uh, Sri Dr. G. Christopher sir, uh, Senior Scientist and Research Coordinator, Mahatma Gandhi University, Dr. T. Sekhar sir, Principal Chief Conservator and Forest retired. And Sri Seva Singh sir, Additional Principal Chief Conservator and Forest and Director, Tamil Nadu Forest Academy, Coimbatore. On behalf of Director, Tamil Nadu Forest Academy, I welcome to you all dignitaries and all the officer trainees from KSOS and Tamil Nadu Forest Academy. As all of you know that we are here to commemorate their life and contribution of T. J. Dev sir in forest service. Now, I would like to share a brief history of life of T. J. Dev sir. Mr. T. J. Dev sir was born on 28 February 1921 in Pondicherry and was brought up in Coimbatore. He completed his B.Sc. Honours in Chemistry in uh, Presidency College. He joined as Forest Service in April 1944. After completing the preliminary training, he was posted as Assistant Conservator and Forest and Instructor at Madras Forest College. Later, he served as Divisional Forest Officer, Kodappa South Division, DFO Nellore and DFO Madurai. He was deputed for professional training in tropical forestry in USA in June 1955. He was deputed UK in 1959 for three months. He served as Chief Conservator and Forest and implemented successfully various plan schemes under three, four and six years plans in Tamil Nadu giving importance for protection and production forestry. During his services at Nagaland, he created a zoo at Kohima. He was retired in February 1979. In the history of Tamil Nadu Forest Department, he is the only forest chief with 17 years standing which is an old time record in Tamil Nadu forestry. Now, now I would like to request all the dignitaries and all the officers, trainees from KSOS and Tamil Nadu Forest Academy to stand up and pay respect for Tamil Thai Valtu. Nirarum Kadaludutta Nilamadandai Kelilurhum Sirarum Badana Mena Tihal Parada Kandamidil Tekkanamum Madil Siranda Dravidanal Tirunadum Takasir Pire Nudalum Taritanarum Tilahamume Atilah vasani pol ani tulahum inba mura. Yeti sayum pugal manak irinda perum tamira nange. Tamira nange. Un sirila mai tiram yand sayal marand vartu dume. Vartu dume. Vartu dume. Now, I would like to request all the respected guests on the dais for lighting up the Deepam and initiate the auspicious event of Sri T. Jaidev Memorial Lecture. Sparkle in every forest. Area. Shubham Karoti Kalyanam Arugyam Dhana Sampada Satru Buddhi Vinashaya Dipo Jyoti Namastute. I salute the Supreme who is the light in the lamp that brings auspiciousness, prosperity, good health, abundance of wealth, and the destruction of intellect's enemy.
गुड मॉर्निंग एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू एवरी वन प्रेजेंट हेयर एट टी जयदेव मेमोरियल लेक्चर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री आई एम प्रोफाउंडली डिलाइटेड टू टेक एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंट्रोड्यूस डॉक्टर सुगातो दत्त आई एफ एस पी सी सी एफ रिटायर्ड एंड सेक्रेटरी सिल्वन क्लब एज एन आई एफ एस ऑफिसर ही हैज़ मैनेज रिस्टोरेशन ऑफ फॉरेस्टेड इको सिस्टम्स इंक्लूडिंग वाइल्ड लाइफ एज पॉलिसी एनालिस्ट रिव्यूड इम्पैक्ट्स ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज मिटिगेशन एंड अडेप्टन प्रैक्टिस ब्लू ग्रीन कवर एट वेरी जोग्राफिक स्केल्स ही हैज़ ऑल्सो रिमेन्ड अ कीन ऑब्जर्वर ऑफ ग्लोबल एंड डोमेस्टिक पॉलिसी डायलॉग ऑन दिस फ्रंट सो विदाउट कंज्यूमिंग एनी टाइम आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट मिस्टर सुगातो दत्त टू प्लीज कम अप ऑन द पोडियम A very good morning to all present here today esteemed uh, additional pccf and director tamil nadu forest academy our chief guest for today esteemed uh, thiru chitambaram sir retired pccf and president of the silvan club respected uh, uh dr t shaker principal chief conservator retired from the tamil nadu cadre dr christopher uh senior scientist at the uh, mahatma gandhi university at uh, kottayam director kaspos uh and uh, faculty faculty of the tamil nadu forest academy uh very dear officer trainees both from the tamil nadu forest academy as well as from the cas force it's a sheer pleasure to be amongst you today this morning as we former foresters or rather lifelong foresters but uh, dedicated to the cause of forestry for life uh members of the silvan club we welcome you all to the annual jayadev memorial lecture in very very cherished memory of uh, thiru jayadev longest serving chief conservator of forests or rather head of department in the annals of the history of the tamil nadu forest department as you have already been very well introduced sir jaydev uh has a very distinguished career some of you may or may not recall it began as an instructor of the then madras forest college today the tamil nadu forest academy and of course he went on as a very able administrator standing up for all the correct and the right functions of every one of his subordinates and at the same time contributing richly to the traditions of forestry we will remember him not only as one of our finest officers but also we will remember him for starting some very significant trends in the way forestry was done within of course then madras presidency and eventually tamil nadu state uh for instance he initiated the declaration at uh, kalakad of the lion tail macaque sanctuary and then he was the first well before project tiger started to think of a tiger sanctuary in mundanthurai to the two combined together stand as the southernmost and perhaps one of the most richly by uh, most rich in biodiversity among the uh, project tiger in the entire country not only that of course uh, he contributed to farm forestry he contributed uh, to uh, 
several other wonderful uh, programs and he stood like a shield to all the officers now so much far accomplished today these are a few words of course we would like to uh, place before you we have a very wonderful uh, series of lectures today from officials or uh, keen forest uh, forest forestry figures who have been involved with the way forestry has uh, evolved and with the way in which uh, interaction with the people today so important has also evolved in the state but more about that uh, later uh, we will proceed i think with a felicitation of the guests of honor today so, so on behalf of uh, the silver club we would uh, like to felicitate our uh, very esteemed national psc chef and uh, director tnfa uh, shiva singh ji please give a round of applause for director again felicitations to another very distinguished officer uh one of the founders of the uh uh tamil nadu afforestation program uh and uh, this uh, dr thiru k chidambaram sir retired uh, pcc <laughs> round of applause also for dr t shekar who will be speaking to us and again warm greetings and applause for dr christopher I request tiru uh, k chidambaram sir to kindly address the audience as president of the silver club so Thank you, Dr. Sugato, Secretary Silvan Club. Good morning to all of you. Actually, I stand before you with a lot of proud because I'm more associated with this campus. I was uh, dean of SFRC College earlier. It was SFRC before. Uh, academy was formed in that um, southern forest rangers college i was the first dean and uh, we did lot of innovative things this sfrc building it was earlier property of government of india later it was transferred to state government tamil nadu after it was taken over by the tamil nadu government we were posted uh, we were running the so but range trainees range of trainees were not coming or not deputed to this college because uh, the, this was a state government and uh, uh, the allotment was made by dfe uh, dfe was part of uh, government of india so we were running the show with the uh, training program ex exclusively conducted for uh, in service training for forests and the range officers of tamil nadu we renovated uh, this building lot of renovation works and lot of uh, academic works like uh, revision of uh, outdated syllabus etc it was done during that time then um, after resting here as dean i was uh, part of faculty in sfs college which was earlier sfs college now caspas i was faculty for about 3 uh, years then i spent uh, worked as a silviculture head in iog tv also that way i had a very long association in this campus and uh, particularly i was dean sfrc which was the most interesting part of my career because i spent time with the young trainees who were supposed to be shaped for uh, facing the challenges of future so that way i feel really proud 
to have spent time here as dean as a forsee. Then uh, even interesting thing about uh, SFRC, which I think perhaps um, most of you may not be aware of. It was started uh, very long back as Madras uh, uh, Rangers Forest College and subsequently it was uh, renamed as SFRC. So many range officers who got trained here, they were uh, working in different states of India uh, when, uh, when they happened to visit Coimbatore, they ensured that uh, they make a visit to this uh, building, which is supposed to be the Mecca of Forestry, as uh, considered by those uh, passed out officers. And uh, you will be wondering to see the kind of uh, vibration they get when they entered into this uh, building. It's, it so happened to even the faculty who served there also had similar kind of uh, vibration when you entered into this building because it was uh, it was treated as a temple of forestry, Mecca of forestry used to say. So I, I had my personal uh, ex experience when I was doing here. One gentleman from uh, UP, after his retirement, probably he visited here as a tourist. When he entered, he kneel down before that, you know, in the portico and worship that, worship the building and then he entered. So that was the reverence they had. So same sort of uh, feeling you will also have after you have served in your respective states. And when you come back after some time, you should have a similar feeling. Hope you will have the similar feeling. This I just wanted to share. And uh, the main program of today is uh, Mr. Jaydev's uh, memorial lecture. Why we have this program in this uh, very campus? Mr. Jaydev, as I think uh, one of the trainees, our uh, secretary, all uh, gave a good briefing about uh, the uh, importance of uh, Mr. Jaydev's service as a forest officer veteran forest officer. He was known for his contribution as working plan officer. In those days, working, spending time as working plan officer is, uh, is and was considered as the time uh, given uh, opportunity for them, career opportunity for them. Because they used to put their soul into it and uh, they will bring out a kind of a scientific document. In that direction, Mr. Jaydev, he had written a working plan for an entire Nil Gris. And uh, you know, there was uh, so many views and uh, debate about the ecosystem status, ecological status of uh, solar and grassland system. There were many a working plan officer, early C.S. Ranganathan, a famed uh, IG, and he also had written here one working plan. So many officers. So he is known for his individual view about the ecological status of uh, Nilgiri Sholas versus grassland system. So that is a kind of uh, contribution he, he gave to the cause of uh, wildlife and uh, forestry. So it was uh, most befitting and proper, proper to conduct his centenary celebrations last year and uh, the family members of uh, Mr. Jayadev, they wanted to have uh, uh, the Mr. Jayadev's memory in the minds of young forest officers or serving forest officer, trade forest officer, so whose glory, ha glory of Mr. Jayadev has to, has to be remembered by all the young forest officers. So it is most befitting to have this memorial lecture here and also to release the annual memoir of uh, Sylvan Club 23. This uh, memory, this memoir was uh, contributed by various uh, Sylvan Club officers 
and uh, that has been brought into shape of a memo which will be released here by the chief guest. So and uh, Ms. Jaydev's family, they thought it is uh, their uh, privilege to sponsor such programs uh, in, the, in the name of uh, Mr. Jaydev. So, Uh, so the, they are the main uh, sponsor and we thought instead of conducting in uh, Chennai, it is uh, most uh, uh, pro prestigious to have this program conducted in the campus of uh, TNF, Tamil Nadu Forest uh, Academy, as well as, uh, as uh, officers uh, CASFAS. So that's how we conducted, we have assembled here. So with this um, few words, I thank you all once again for this opportunity and I also thank Director TNFA, Director CASFAS and their uh, faculty members for uh, extending their cooperation for the successful conduct of the programs. I exclusively thank Mr. Uh, G. Sandeshegar. You may not be knowing him, you may be, you may be interested to know. Uh, Mr. Sandeshegar was my faculty when I was dean here. So he has been working since 90s and still I think uh, the college uh, academy is not leaving him or he is not leaving this uh, institute. So his service is still there and he is the most uh, efficient officer and uh, when I was dean here the faculty strength was very, very limited, two DCFs, one ACF and two Rangers. And uh, Mr. Ramach Chandrasekhar, he was one of the Rangers. So with these people, we were running the show and uh, we really enjoyed the time. We had the feeling that we have done something to the cause of forestry here. So I exclusively thank uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar for having, <laughs> having uh, contributed for the success of the program with the background support of Director TNFA and Director CASFAS. I thank you all once again for this opportunity. Thank you. Very good. Now, I'd like to invite uh, our uh, chief guest for the day, Sri Seva Singh Ji. Uh, Very good morning to all of you, the officers, retired officers on the dais and my dear training officers from CAS Force and my academy. So I'd like to take the feedback, my all officers training is that you are physically fit, yes, sir. you are mentally alert, yes, sir. you are spiritually high, yes, sir. very good. So I, I can see the energy, so I can see the Josh and you. So with these uh, words, now I would like to... <coughs> Say that you all, how, why you have assembled today to pay tri a tribute to uh, for uh, uh, Thiru T. Yadev, forest officer, who is a veteran forest officer. In his memory, we have assembled. And my already colleagues has uh, told about the, his uh, achievements, why he was a great veteran forest officer. And I would like to touch upon on his. Uh, important uh, achievements and his uh, brief history. So he is known as the evergreen forest chief of the Tamil Nadu Forest Department. He was the <laughs> longest serving officer in the history of the Tamil Nadu Forest Department, as a chief of the Tamil Nadu Forest Department. So he was born on 28th February 1921 in Pondicherry and brought up in this Kamto district. Mr. Jayadev did his BSc honors in chemistry in the presidency college and served as a lecturer in Pachyapa college. Then he was selected for as a supervisor for a service of Madras state, then Madras state. He received preliminary training at Kyomtu North Division towards the end of 1943 and joined the Indian Forest College for two year professional training during April 1944. He was one of the brilliant officers of the supervisor for a service of Madras state. Then from 1962 to 1970, he served as chief conservator of forest and implemented 
successfully various plan schemes as already my colleagues has been told you that he was uh, very much involved in working plan exercise then first tiger project and so on so he is known for his contribution in the tamil nadu forest department for protection and protection forestry and under his leadership even the wildlife wing of the tamil nadu forest department was strengthened and he is also the first state wildlife officer in madras state during his tenure as chief conservator initial recruitment to the indian forest service happened with effect on 1 10 he handled the process efficiently and he himself got inducted as initial recruit in ifs while serving as chief conservator forest tamil nadu department during 1970 to 1975 For a period of five years, he was on deputation to the state of Nagaland and contributed much to the forest and wildlife development in that state. He created a zoo at Kohima, which became a great center of attraction to the residents of that town. On return from Nagaland back to Madras, he served for tenure as chief conservator of forest till his retirement in February 1979. He handed over the charge to Mr. R. Pasupati, I.S. and got super annuity. he will be remembered for his professional competency and sterling qualities and performance ever in the tamil nadu forest department he is being remembered now in the history of tamil nadu forest department he is a forest chief with 17 years standing with an all time record in the indian forest he was a chief of the tamil nadu forest for continuously 17 years so with these my brief remarks i wish the almighty for his contribution to the forestry sector which he did and we want to convey this his all his achievements and his efforts which he put back some hundred years back that our training officers should also take a lesson from that with this mark thank you very much so we continue on to the uh events for today uh it's a matter of great uh, pleasure and uh, pride considerable pride uh, to introduce uh, the first speaker for today dr g christopher dr christopher is a senior scientist and uh, the research coordinator at the mahatma gandhi university at uh, kottayam in kerala and uh, he has had a very long association as a natural resource uh, with the natural resource management sector his uh, phd is from the forest research institute deemed university at dehradun and on the subject of human uh, wildlife interactions in the well known to us agastyamanai region in the southern western ghats of course that but in particular emphasis in kerala his mphil was from the school of social sciences in the bharti dasan university and he has a masters in social work from the pg department of social work at the bishop heber college bharti dasan university at the tirchapalli in tamil nadu he has a wide range of experiences he has been the manager of uh, ecology and biodiversity at the very well known and i'm sure will be well acquainted with you in your careers foundation for ecological security at the national dairy development board campus in anand in gujarat he had the responsibility for uh, coordination of eco restoration and biodiversity monitoring activities over there and his work spanned the regions of gujarat madhya pradesh odisha andhra pradesh as well as karnataka He is program executive at the Palmyra Workers uh, Development Society. This is at Marthandam in the Kanyakumari district of Tamil Nadu. He was a research coordinator at the Loyola College of Social Sciences. This is again Trivandrum, uh, Kerala. And he has held uh, other responsibilities as program officers of Kerala Research Program on local level local level development, 
at the center, very well known, Center for Development Studies at Trivandrum. Without further ado, I hand it over to Dr. Christopher to address the gathering. Please. We'll uh, continue with the uh, function today and uh, have the pleasure and the privilege of uh, felicitating the dignitaries on the dais. I will request uh, <coughs> Chidambaram sir, president of the uh, Selvan Club, to kindly prepare, present the shawl to the additional PCCF and uh, director Tamil Nadu Forest Director. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Karish, and to kindly come forward and present a shawl to the Dr. T. Christopher, a speaker today. Uh, we have a special effort taken by the Silvan Club and uh, this of course has been encouraged and sponsored by uh, the family of uh, uh, Jayadev sir. We have uh, begun this venture of uh, preparing an annual memoirs of the Silvan Club. I will take a few minutes to explain what this venture was. Uh, we have a members in the Silver Club with a rich, very rich diversity of experience. And uh, this covers a whole range of fields. Uh, of course, as uh, primarily as bureaucrats, uh, some of us specialized in law and how the legal statute is implemented during the course of work. There are others who have uh, specialized uh, in upcoming fields, still relatively new, but uh, promising to be extremely important, like ecological restoration, for example, the removal of invasive species or the treatment of invasive species. Uh, there are others who have chose to just give reflective pieces uh, on their career and their relationships with all their colleagues. So all of this formed a series of uh, some 15 wonderful articles which we have put together and put in this publication called the Annual Memoirs of the Silvan Club. And uh, today we would uh, release this first volume in the August uh, presence of all the uh, those gathered here today. And uh, I would uh, request that this... Uh, may kindly be released by the hands of uh, no less than the director uh, Tamil Nadu Forest Academy to save us in the So please. Request uh, the uh, principal cast force to kindly also come. Great gratitude uh, to present these uh, 
to those of us, uh, those amongst us here today uh, who have uh, either themselves been uh, uh, writers of the articles or have encouraged this entire function today to come to its fruition. I would uh, like to present a copy to uh, Sri Saman Singer. Uh, followed by through Giganesan. Followed by through Tangaraj. Through Nazir. Through Anguswami. Through Raghupati. And certainly not the least, but most encouraging, through Chandrasekhar. Conclude the function by a presenting a vote of thanks. I request uh, to Saman Singha to come forward. Good afternoon to all, dear President, guests on the dais, and dear trainees. We have spent so much time in listening to the two lectures organized in memory of Sri Jayadev sir. And these are nothing but in a training institute, some of the reflections, <coughs> what people like me have gathered in 35 years of service in the forest department. They may be of some importance to you when you are starting your career. And many of you are already trained in some or other academic <coughs> field. And forestry may be one addition. And whatever has been taught here, you have to forget those things when you are joining the job in the service. And at that time, you will start a new. As adult psychology says, unless you yourself is convinced, you are not going to accept anything. If Dr. Sekar's Ten Commandments, you listen, it enters here and goes out. So, please, these are just some of things what we saw experienced in our life. That is just to Keep it and you start your life. And things are changing so fast. And uh, this will be definitely useful. And you will have gather, gathering experiences. And after 35 years, you will be at my stage to tell your experiences to your future generation. And my job here is to thank the President Sylvan Club, first, and the Secretary Sylvan Club, Dr. Datta. Both of them tirelessly spared so much time and energy in organizing this function today. Then, Sri Seva Singh, Director of Forest Academy, who spared his time and provided all the facilities to conduct this function. All thanks are due to this gentleman. Then Dr. Christopher gave you a broad outline of mountain ecosystems, everything. This is just one example of things what you are going to face in the life in future. So, just like mountains, it, 
this look very beautiful from the distance. When you land up there, you see that you have to climb up and spend your energy. So, but this natural resource will provide you not only the job, but also the pleasure and enjoyment. So, thanks to Dr. Christopher for providing such a beautiful lecture. Thanks are due to, of course, old Guru, Dr. Sekhar. He remains a Guru from the beginning and continues even after his retirement. He will not leave you so easily. So, thanks again for his Ten Commandments. I thank the retired officers who have spared time to be with us today. Profuse thanks. I thank the director Tirnavu Karasu of Kaspers and his colleagues in the college who spared time to be with us. Special thanks are due to Sri Chandrasekhar who spared so much labor to make successful this function. I thank all the staff members of the Sri Forest Academy to be with us. Special thanks are due to the trainee officers because you people were bored like anything with these two speeches and all these things. So, thank you all again, young fellows. I must thank all the staff members of this academy who helped us in making this program a successful one. Particularly the camera fellows and other people. Thank you again for sparing your valuable time with us. Thank you.